Hello, friends of the internet. Welcome to General Nerdcast, episode number 53. It's gone forever. What is your watch? watch? I'm sorry. Do <sighs> moment of silence for it? No, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> fuck that watch. <laughs> um, we're going to talk to you about some general nerdy things. This is our new Wednesday show. Yeah. Um, I guess we don't really need notes. Because we're not going to talk to you about news or anything else. We're going to talk to you about things that we like to talk about. We're going to talk about games we're playing, stuff like that. You know, just super fun stuff. It's going to be more of an open discussion. Yeah. Less of just news stories and news topics. And yeah. We're just going to have more fun with this episode than other ones, I guess. Yeah. Than, I guess, the news one. Monday will just be a news review show. And Wednesday will be our... Open free discussion. Open poopy farts. Uh-uh. Anyway, so... This is Bobby. Um, yeah, yeah. Were you going there? I was about to. Okay. I was getting there. <laughs> this is Tyler. Those are Bobby's boobs. Or man pecs. Or man peck boobies. Whatever we're calling them right now. I don't know. Man, I don't know. Man peck boobs. I don't know. Peck mans. Oh, Pac Man. I like that. So, I guess we'll just start with how was your week? What'd you do? Um, I worked a lot. I did get to try the Destiny 2 beta a little bit. Oh. I considered the Splatoon 2 beta, and I did not go for that. Did they do another timed one? Isn't yeah, this doing? this is the one where oh, they had God. the uh, like ice cream versus cake festival. Oh, I, I was half right. tempted to jump into it because right. of that. Yeah. Well. But well, I didn't. But you didn't. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it was mostly work and celebrating, like, kind of after celebrations for Emily's birthday nice. type stuff. So. Nice. Good Got time. some drinks. Some dinners. Drinks. Drinks some and drinks dinners. Drinks and dinners. How's your week? Um, it was good. I worked. Um, played with Alice, hung out with the baby. Yeah. And, um, yeah, played video games. Yeah. You know, typical, normal week. What yeah. else do? All right. What'd you play? This week, this was the week that I gave up on Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Not going to platinum the game. Yeah. Uh, I was dead set on doing it and i fucking spent probably six hours just in the first fucking game and i'm like you know what i get up you win (laughs) you win so i saved the bandicoot by buying the game but i'm not going to save the bandicoot by getting the platinum trophies no no because i mean you have to speed run every individual level and you have to get the gold relic in every single level and then you have to go unlock all the gems and you have to break all the boxes and a like, lot of backtracking it's it's it's, it's or... just the levels are just too hard to individual speed run as fast as they want you to mm. so it like i got like 10 of them out of the 26 and i was like i'm gonna be able to do this and then i'm stuck on like these oh. two levels and i was like you know what nope not doing it no so it. i kind of gave up on that one uh i still gotta go back and i'll be uh crash two and, and uh crash three yeah but I'm not gonna platinum them. I'm not, no. gonna, I'm not gonna waste that much time on it. It just it feels more like a game that I'd be wasting time on then. than the actual achievement in the end because hmm. whatever. So I've I've been uh, dabbling in uh, Cosmic Star Heroine mm-hmm. as well. It's a uh, kind of a throwback to '90s RPGs. It's like turn based oh, okay. uh, oh, turn based yeah. battles, right. and you have level up systems and different characters with different abilities okay. and stuff like that. And it's it's it's, it's, it's super wicked fun. It just reminds me of, you know, back in the day when that's what that, RPGs that were. The, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I've been, I've been dabbling in that one. Maybe I'll get the platinum on that one because there's not really a whole lot of trophies, but I haven't oh. actually like, looked at the list. Usually what I do is I beat a game, I oh, finish the story, and then I'll go back and check the trophies, and then I'll be like, yeah, oh, yeah, I could do this. <laughs> and then I'll go back and do it. Most of the time. Most well, of Sometimes the time. I'll just try to get them along the way. Yeah. Because a lot of times there's, like, story ones that you have to get. So... Yeah. Like Darksiders, I have to go back and I think play the first half of the game oh, okay. to get one of the trophies. Oh, yeah. yeah. I fucked up and didn't know it was a trophy to get it until I beat the game and looked at him and I was like, Yeah, I, I that feel like sucks. <laughs> I feel like I did that with a couple actually I do feel like I did that in the first Darksiders also when I played it. Like I yeah. looked at the trophy, like the full list afterwards. I'm like, I don't wanna I don't wanna jump back in to do that. Yeah, I think I think the the two that I missed were in the very opening scene, the apocalypse scene. We throw a car at a helicopter. Yeah, I, I, that I one. didn't do that one, and then I didn't get enough kills on the um, the angel beast thing that you ride. Oh yeah, I didn't get kill enough people. So those are the two that I missed in the actual story. Everything else I can go back and collect. So. That one's a little more difficult, I think, just because it moves so fast. It's easier yeah. to miss people. 
So I'll, I'll probably just play on the easiest difficulty and just <laughs> and fucking try to burn it. through everything because yeah. I already beat it on the hardest difficulty. So yeah, that's what I'm playing on right now. I I haven't gotten very far. I Spider just bitch started. sucks. <laughs> She's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's because everything just hits so hard and it like makes it so difficult to stay alive. Yeah, that's why the game's so hard. It's not like the bosses are still pretty easy. They're still the same exact yeah, it's, patterns and stuff like that. And once you learn them, you go can, through three or four phases yeah. and. Yeah, and when, once you learn the patterns, it's easy. But it's like, yeah, they hit you twice, and you lose like eight health bars, and you're like, "Well, that sucks." <laughs> so yeah, I was uh, in the prologue. I when I was playing it uh, last week, I think that's when I start, restarted it. I during the first kind of boss battle where he, th- he throws the car at cars at you you're supposed to hit him with it like yeah, i started yeah. catching the cars that he was throwing and just like rechucking them right <laughs> after i was like i oh, know i'm fucking done because <laughs> i had already lost like most of my health bars just getting to him I'm like yeah this is a lot harder than i remember yeah yeah <laughs> well i never played him until you were like well they're the four horsemen of the apocalypse and yeah. i was like that's fucking cool why wouldn't you market that <laughs> like that so i went back and i played it and i think i think that'll be my next platinum trophy for sure yeah i'll go back and do that one yeah it- they're fun. I didn't. I didn't realize like how f- long ago the game had come out. Like yeah. I'm like watching the cutscenes. I'm like, last one I remember is Dark Siders two, and I know it was a little bit better in like graphics yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, it's still fun to play. I was just like, I I didn't realize what the cutscenes looked like back then compared yeah. to now. Yeah, so. definitely not up to par of our standard. No, it's but still, I mean it, it holds up. Yeah, it's not bad. It was fun. <laughs> You did it again. I did it again. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I, I I'm, what I'll, what I'll play I'm after that, it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I still gotta get through um, Nair. God, not again. Again. again? <laughs> yeah, I got it again. Maybe I'll do that one next. Maybe I'll finish. I'll just play because Cosmic Star Heroin. I don't really have to focus on mechanics or anything. I just yeah. walk around. I just gotta know where I'm at in the story. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of like bouncing around in games. Because I usually try to, like, I like to focus on one, finish it, and then move on. Yeah. Because it's really hard to go from, like, a game like Darksiders where you're, like, just hack and slash to Very a game where you have to, like, yeah, and, yeah. play strategically and, like, you're like, I don't remember what any of the characters do, so. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably, I'll probably, yeah, I think I'm going to go back Platinum Darksiders and then I'll jump into Nier Automata. Yeah. That's fine. I started it. I haven't gotten super far in that one either. Because yeah. I... I wanted to play God, the Destiny beta. Isn't there, like, 80 endings to that game or something? I think there's quite a few. Like, I don't know how many there are, but I know there are multiple endings. I really hope you don't have to get all the endings for the Platinum Trophy. I would be kind of sad. Yeah. But I would also start, like, right now I'm just trying to collect everything while going through it. Yeah. If I have to, I mean, I'll, I want to do multiple playthroughs, or if I can change the ending by, like, the last chapter or something, that would be okay. Yeah, like, if... I also don't feel like that would be the best for the game because you want to yeah affect the game throughout the game yeah like if, if it's one of those ones where you could save at a certain point and then make decisions and it changes the ending like yeah. then i'll probably do create a save there do it the way i want to and then just kind of run through and just finish all the other endings yeah. just so i can see them or get the trophies or whatever you know yeah. so and it's it's not even fully for the achievement or the trophies there for me it's kind of like you just want i want to see the yeah. endings but i don't want to watch them yeah <laughs> I don't like. I don't want to watch them on YouTube. I guess is yeah, how it yeah. Shows you you want to you want to get them. yeah yeah. For me, it's the trophy and the achievement, <laughs> and also maybe maybe the way that it ends. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if, if you I find an ending played the game yet, that so is I don't know. like actually hits home or something, yeah, you find it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that changes everything. Yeah, but so yeah. Apparently, it's a very emotional game. I mean, like, I've watched I watched the honest trailers. Like this is super fucked up. Yes, <laughs> this makes you feel something for the cyborgs and the robots and everything yeah. like, great <laughs> oh man now you tell me after i started it i'm gonna cry <laughs> i'm a crier dude i cry in everything yeah like cried in like the opening scene of the last of us well no i almost did mm. i was close oh yeah that scene what other game did i cry in there's another game i cried in i don't remember what was them. probably final fantasy 7 <laughs> yeah that was that was, that was sad that, yeah. was, that was hard Hard hit me in the feels. <laughs> um, one thing I want to talk about since we both played it was the Destiny Two beta. You want to just jump? okay? You really all right? I just, just fucking do it. Just, that was a bullshit beta. Yeah, it was not great. 
Um, I was super excited about it. I was like, Me too. yes, I finally get to experience a little bit of the game before mm-hmm. it comes out. Yep. I will say this. I think we, in comparison to Destiny 2 and the original Destiny betas, we were pretty spoiled with the first Destiny beta. That's, w- that's a fair way to put it. Yeah. Maybe we were spoiled the first one and expected yeah. more in the second one. I, I expected equivalent at least and yeah and it it was not no it definitely wasn't and i can understand why because that was a lot in the first beta yeah for, like that you got to experience a full zone of the game plus yeah you got to experience like what like, all, almost all of earth yeah you got to experience all of earth before expansion stuff obviously yeah um and pretty much the entire beginning story like not just the first mission but the entire beginning mm-hmm. story through the first strike yeah, all the way and, up to like the la- the boss of the first like mission. Yep, and then um, and then you even like you could do crucible and you got to explore the base like the uh, the tower. Yeah, the tower. Yeah. You got all that, and in this one, it's you get the beginning mission that starts the game. Yeah, and then you can do the strike the uh, inverted tower, which was pretty fu- pretty fun. Sorry. And I enjoyed that one. And then it's just Crucible after that. Like, I mean, you can keep doing the strike and explore the world a little bit. But, I mean, it's one of those things where, unless you're doing it with a group and you actually want to go explore, your group's going to run ahead to the strike. And if they get far enough, they're going to pull you. Yeah, it's going to warp you to it because that's what that game does. Um, So, yeah, it was... It was a... It was pretty disappointing, honestly. Yeah, it was, it was more on the disappointing side of what I wanted to experience with the beta. Yeah, the like, coolest part was seeing the new classes in action, like yeah. the new subclasses, I guess, in action. That was pretty cool and fun, just to see, like, experience what they could do and what they were about. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I, there wasn't there wasn't much to it. I feel like it lacked a lot of depth for a beta. Like, I mean, if I had never played a Destiny game, yeah. if I didn't play Destiny 1, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump in this beta, and I'm going to see what it's about. And I played this beta, I would not be interested in this game at all. No. I'd be like, well, cool. That was great, I think. Yeah, it's it's not very inviting. They did announce, um, we missed it today, but for like an hour or two, you got to actually explore the uh, farm, the city, the oh, okay. hub city. Um, it was actually yeah, but Sunday. So, why yeah. only do that for like... I don't know. Hours. That doesn't I, make sense. Why not just have it available? I mean, even if it's not the final edition of it, like at least put it out there and be like, "Well, this is where your new hub is. This is where your base is." Yeah, I, I wish that would have been an additional option, so you can you know hang out with other guardians instead yeah. of you are right, you got to go fight. Or yeah, you it, fight. it's it's all right. We're flying in space. Now we're gonna fight. We're flying in space. Now we're gonna fight. There was no like, there's no real like yeah you, t- like downtime to hang out and just you know be you, guardians like you could in the first one yeah you didn't get to test out their new loading option to where you don't have to go to space to go to a new area like yeah that was one of the things i really wanted to test out to see how fluent it was like yeah does do i get to sit there and do i have to stand still while it loads so i go to a new place or will it just teleport me to that new place that i can keep doing stuff like i i really wanted to see how it worked I hope it's not a teleport system. I hope it's, like, you still have to, like, get to your ship and then it shows your ship going. You don't have to, like, go through that weird, like, menu and then the sub-menu and then collect it and then select select what spot you want to land on. I hope it's just kind of, like, go to this planet, click here, do this, and then it just warps you to your ship and then sees your ship. Because that would kind of take away from yeah, getting ships, take away from I guess. The ship so I, I hope that it's more... They'll probably have a ship scene, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I just hope to... it's there. Yeah. I just I wanted to see how that worked. I want yeah. I actually wanted a patrol mission, like the patrol option, which yeah. I actually enjoyed a lot in the beta. Yeah, the, that that was that was a lot of fun because you could explore and to see what the world's all about. Yeah, and I thought that was very missing from this beta, and that yeah. kind of sucked. Yeah, I've this beta could have been better. I still I'm still gonna I am getting the game. Yeah, you still already, you already I already have it. Yeah. Um, but I was a little let down by this beta. Yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm probably still going to get it. Yeah. I mean, the idea is there that I still want it. This didn't deter me from wanting it. Cause no. Because I played the first one, and I want to see what Gary does to the world <laughs> so I can... And, like, the scene where they have the weird crab thing on the Guardian, and oh, it's, like, yeah, spreading yeah. across. Yeah. Or not the Guardian, the, 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 traveler. the Traveler. Yeah. And it's, like, spreading across it, and, like, I'm like, 
I want to know what that's about. So, like, it did intrigue me with the story, but that that's because I know the story. And I know what... I know what's led up to this point. Yeah. With the cabal and all, all the other stuff. stuff yeah. And um, so that part is interesting to me. But if, like I said, if this is the first time and I was like, I don't even know what the Traveler is. Like, yeah. Great, that thing's being absorbed by that thing or something. I don't really know. Yeah, I guess... I guess you do need a little bit of backstory to enjoy that part of the beta. I mean, it's still a cool story, but it didn't explain too yeah, much like, on it. Because this is supposed to be a reboot, so you are going to have to have some of that information yeah, for new players. It's, it's got to be there, otherwise the new people are going to be like, I don't understand what, what the big deal is. What is that? What's it's, a ghost? Yeah. Why did it die? <laughs> yeah. That part was sad. That was sad. That, like, like, you, you lose sad your shit, little like, buddy. He's like, I don't know what's happening. And then, like, yeah. he just falls, and you're like, what? You picked him up, and then you dropped yeah, him. Yeah, like, like when you, when you like, like crawl over to him and grab him and protect him, I was like, oh, man, <laughs> right in the feels. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, I'm kind protect of... Protect my little buddy. I'm wondering how... I think, I, what you, I think is going to be, like, the second or third mission is you got to go find your ghost. I think that's going to be the second mission, because I believe I remember seeing in one of the previews that... Like, you're stumbling about trying to get out of the city. Mm -hmm. Like, you've lost everything. I did notice one thing. I don't know if it's actually accurate or if I was just kind of making it in my head while I was playing. But <laughs> the long, like the further you got in the mission, the more I noticed that my abilities didn't work as good. Like, I, I started with a hunter, and then I uh, created a warlock and played through the beginning mission. And the farther I went, his little drop-down area boost got, like, it lasted less and less time the further I got in the mission. I didn't pay that much attention. But maybe. I, I don't know if it was just me or if, like, maybe it only has so much power to give because I, like, I'd start shooting people and I noticed it'd be gone, like, almost instantly when I put it down, like, starting near the end. I was like, I don't That's know. That's interesting. I yeah. wonder... I wonder if it was like that because as the, that thing is, like, destroying or, like, can, like, trapping, constricting, yeah, constricting the, the light for that the traveler gives yeah. off, that it slowly like starts to you lose your powers because yeah. that would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense, and even during the uh, when you're on the ship and Cade's talking, he's like, "My fire gun thing isn't working." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I think I don't know if that is an actual like an actual effect they made during the mission. The first mission was pretty cool. I won't lie. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I like that. See, like, I'm not saying that the mission yeah, was bad. I'm just saying that out of context, I don't think that it would have sold me. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a big thing on the beta. And that brings up a different subject that we may or may not get into what should a beta be. But... We can talk about that. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I, I really... I was hit and miss. I'm, I'm thinking one of the big reasons they chose Crucible is because... Everybody on Twitch who's streaming Destiny is solely doing Chris Crucible, except yeah, for yeah, a yeah. select few who are like who are running through ra uh, the raids and whatnot to try and get the books completed. Um, but it's like I guess I Crucible may not be the biggest thing for us, but it doesn't mean it's not the biggest thing for other people. Yeah, and like, they, and, uh, like this is all personal opinion. Yeah. Like for me, the beta was lacking. Yeah, I just feel like. I feel like it's a missed opportunity for new players. Yeah, I, I do too. Opinion. Especially for this opening weekend. like, But people who like Call of Duty and whatnot will get into yeah, the I mean, Crucible stuff. So That's what they're there for. They anyway. they're, they're there for there. the, they're yeah. there for the people multiplayer like, stuff. Yeah. And he, but like, even the multiplayer stuff, you got like one map and one yeah. game type. Like that even kind of sucked. It was like... If, if you rotated was, between two maps for one mode, that'd be... Yeah. I'd be like, better yeah, with give that. Give me something, but it's the same map, the same mode, like... Yeah. Control. New map that I've never played before. And I was like, okay, and I know the entire layout of this map by playing it once because it's so small. Yeah. And, like... Give me something else. Yeah. The, um... That map would be great for, like... Like, a. 1v1v1v1 like all the all game oh yeah and everybody starts be. in a different point like that would be a fucking massacre yeah because it's so small and so crazy like no that would dude, that, that would be a lot that of would fun. be that would be the way to go with that map <laughs> i think it's just like eight guardians load in and just fucking go crazy yeah i think that, 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 I think that would, that would be, be awesome free for all that's uh, what it's called yeah 
I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, I'm pretty sure they had free for all in the in first Destiny, but I don't remember for sure. Yeah, no, they did. Okay. Um, the countdown one was pretty cool, but again, it was the same map over and over. Yeah, was, you, was, you was, learn the, the paths that people take. The very competitive. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. The only difference was like the regular, like, casual multiplayer crucible was the I don't remember what the level was called, but oh, yeah. it was just control. And then the competitive multiplayer was another new map that, but it was, you had two maps yeah. and like two things. Like and that it was it. Yeah. It didn't rotate mode. So it was yeah. either you're playing countdown on this map or you're playing control on this map. Yeah. And so. there was no, there's no other option. And like, I feel like that was another thing that they, it's going to get lost for new players. Like, they're like, well, what other modes are there? What other maps are there? Like, show me something else. Yeah. See, I think we may, might be more on the negative side because they didn't, I don't think they had as much PvE stuff in, in comparison to replayability to the PvP stuff. Yeah. Um, but even even the PvP stuff was... Yeah, and for, for us, it wasn't real replayable. And God damn, how long did it take to fucking charge your super in that one? In this, in this it fucking beta? It took a while. Um, I don't remember ever... Like, I would be the top two or three score in every map and i never got to use it in actual yeah to actually kill anybody i'd like use it i'd use it like and then it'd be like match over yeah great job guardians and i'd be like well perfect i wanted to throw swords at people (laughs) but you know yeah fuck me right i like i that sucks yeah i uh i got to use it a little bit but not very well um i i did decently quick no, I actually just went to the golden gun. Oh. Um, I tried using it a little bit, but I, I I think I got a total of, like, one kill in the matches yeah, I, I got with it. I think in, like, the ten matches that I played, I saw two supers be used. Like, used enough that it actually made a did something. Yeah, yeah, made a huge... And it, one boost. was a hunter where he fucking flashed around and slammed people with a stick, and I was like, <laughs> well, that's actually really cool. I'm really upset you hit me with it, though. <laughs> And then another one was the Titan, the new Titan. Oh, his shield. Yeah. Yeah. Like, those were the only two that I saw. They yeah. were actually used to a point where it actually swayed the turning of the game. Like, Yeah, the one thing I gotta get used to with the new Supers is the uh, melee and ranged option for them. Yeah. Like, at yeah. least the new Supers. Um, just because, like, the stick, the shield, and the sword all have... I'm gonna beat you up right here, mm-hmm. or I can throw it at you. Yeah. Type of motion. I just used to throw in one. Yeah. I, I, I just feel like a badass throwing <laughs> like fire swords at people. It's like, Kita! see, I did that in the first mission for the warlock, like the beginning mission, like fighting all the cabal, and to, just to try it out, just floating in the air, just throwing fire all over the map in that one zone, and then I switched to the uh, the void one so I could blow people up yeah. with a big bomb, so I could command man people. <laughs> but yeah i i this i didn't see them it took forever to where the match was pretty close to over for the charge yeah so. like and, it, and I, just, I felt like you couldn't use them to a point where you could either bring your team back or like close the match it was yeah use it and then you're either already winning or you're already gonna lose because there's only like one or two points yeah. that the other team needs so it's like yeah okay that was great yeah, so they, I, need, they need to fix that. Yeah. And then Faux show. Maybe that's one of the things they're looking for in the beta. Like, uh, are the supers charging too slow or whatnot? Because the one thing we have to consider is when you look at the stats, like, they're, like yeah. the highest one I had was 10, and it didn't give, like, a percentage of how f- effective it was for yeah. charge-ups or whatnot. Although I think they changed all those stats, too, to where they don't work the same. Yeah. But it's just... The reason that the supers were so cool were the fact that they you could use them and yeah you bring do. your team back or use them and kind of like hold the other team back yeah. to win and it was like i just felt like that wasn't there in this and i you didn't unless you played the story one a bunch of times you never really got to see or i guess the strike but yeah. you never really got to see the new ones and yeah, actually it was... i felt like that was another thing that they lost out on yeah for even like for old players yeah, it's, like, it's just one of those things where this is a great opportunity to showcase and show them off, and it didn't happen the way that I expected it to, I guess. Yeah. Gamers are babies. 
That's what we're being right now, yeah. babies. Uh, it was, yeah, it was as much negativity as we've had towards this. It is. It isn't the final product. It isn't. No, yeah, for yeah, sure. It's, it's just, just to state that um, this is this is the type of area for testing is what the yeah. beta should be. Uh, in my opinion, like it, it's supposed to be meant for testing, not not solely bringing people in. I agree. A closed beta is for testing. An yes. open beta is to show yeah, off the is. game. It is. And this was an open beta, and they really, I feel. For me, in my opinion, they failed to show off the game to me. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I, I, understand I like that. every everything that I played and saw were things that I already saw. Yeah, it, there was that's there true. wasn't really anything new for me to be like, oh fuck, that was cool. But I like I saw a video of all the supers, so I already knew what they were gonna do. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, it didn't show off much of what isn't available online already. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, I totally get that, and I do almost, a, I, I agree, like, 85% for it is to show off what they have for the game. Yeah. Um, the other 15 is possible stress testing. That is yeah. the only other, like, possible thing. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. For that. Um, but I had a thought before I went into that, and I can't remember what it was. It was about bacon grease. Bacon grease. Yeah. I did find the ball. Did you? <laughs> yeah. It is flat. Oh. On the stairs. That's sad. Yeah. The ball and... Did you um, Did you go find the Easter egg? No. No. I did. You can... I mean, you can hear it all garbled behind a door, but... Mm. Uh, Paul McCartney. McCarthy. McCarthy. McCartney. McCartney. Um, his throwback to what Destiny's have, Destiny players have claimed as their theme song is hearable, noticeable in the lounge area behind a closed door where you have the jukebox, you can actually hear that song playing during the first mission if you go find the door in the hangar area. So, if you want to hear what people apparently has claimed as the theme song for Destiny, uh, you can hear a throwback to it. Yeah, when the game comes out, I guess. Yeah, when the game comes out. Because by the time... Yeah. Pretty much by the time we finish recording this, the beta will be probably closed. Yeah, probably. So. Unless they do a second one, but I doubt it. Unless they do a second one with the PC players. Oh, yeah, that's right. They they, are, yeah. they will do beta there. But then you'll have... The game will be out by that time. I'm likely. also super duper interested in to see if the PC beta is different than the console beta. That would be interesting to see, just because... Unless they come out the same time as... Re- no, even then. If, they came out, if the beta came out the same time as release... Yeah. I mean, th- I feel like you'll have a bunch of people showing off what's in the game at, when it's released anyways, so I feel like people playing PC beta will, I don't know, feel kind of left out in a way. Uh, yeah. Just because... I can see that. There isn't that much to experience when a game is already released for a beta or yeah, an that's, unreleased version. It's That's another it's weird. thing is, like, kind of like what we talked about last week with the, the sales numbers with the people yeah. who are going to buy console and PC versions. Yeah. Well, It'll be it's, interesting to see, like, if that beta. if people that are gonna buy both play both like the beta and the actual game or if they focus on the game and they miss the beta get... like, I wonder how many people are actually gonna play the PC beta yeah this is what my main point is <laughs> yeah that's a tough one just because if I mean for the people who are gonna buy them both I mean is it worth it to jump into a limited play like play set that's what I mean to where yeah that is that's an interesting thought I don't I don't know how popular the beta for PC will be. Like, they're not going to get... I don't think they'll get as much stress testing for that. Which I think will hurt them in the long run. Yeah. Because all, the, all the people that do jump from console to computer and yeah. start over. Which I think my thing is just that silly. <laughs> just wait for the fucking computer one to come out. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah. Uh, people won't just because they... Because they're impatient. Yeah, impatient <laughs> and they want to give people early content before they jump into the PC and start doing competitive stuff or whatnot. Like, the early... And see, like, I, I feel like if I was, like, super into watching a streamer and he was like, well, I'm gonna buy the console version of, the, of Destiny 2, and he plays it, and then he's like, well, I just bought the PC version, so I gotta start all over again. I'd be like, okay, let me know when you get back to where you were, because <laughs> I don't wanna watch you at level 1 do nothing. Yeah. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, like, how some streamers do with that. 
Yeah, like just content Unless, creators in general. Like I wonder yeah. exactly how they're gonna bounce back and forth, or if they even will. You know. Yeah. Like maybe it, they'll it's wait. It's hard to say. Some people will be like, "Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try and jump back and forth," but they're gonna stick to one more than. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure they will, and it's just. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Like, yeah, what the community decides. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, so, ecosystem was the other word. Ecosystem. I would see what the ecosystem does, where it splits and yeah, where people go. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. That might be one of the something we'll probably talk about in the future yeah. once the game comes out and once we know beta date for the uh, PC. Yeah, once the PC version comes out and we'll see how many people jump to it. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be sales numbers. And oh, yeah, there there probably will be. Shenanigans, no, will be. so we'll definitely see, and we'll probably definitely talk about it. Yeah. Because I'm curious. Uh, okay, so on the topic we brought up earlier, what do you think a beta should be or be focused around? Closed beta. Closed beta. All right, we'll, let's start we'll, with we'll, that. We'll separate the two because yeah. they are... To me, I feel like they're two different things. A closed beta, to me, should be something that they're using to work out the bugs to get ready for the open beta. Um, and it should be it should be the same exact thing from closed to open, the same exact test, but yeah. the closed one's probably going to be more buggy than the open one because the closed one they're going to use to... Figure work out. out the bugs yeah. and figure out what's wrong and what they can work on, what they can fix to get ready for the open beta for yeah. the people that are going to jump in that didn't get invited to the closed beta. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's what a closed beta should be for. It should, uh, that's, to me, it's still almost like an alpha. Yeah. It's still in, the, in that. That's like, like closed beta. Yeah, that close that, alpha that, pre. Yeah, it's, it's like post alpha pre beta. All right, we want to see like what you can fuck up. Yeah, basically, yeah. like try to break the game. We need you to break the game, yeah. like, and but and then like, like I was saying, like for an open beta, when you're inviting everybody Every... to get in, you should be trying to showcase as much as you can to sell new players to it. Yeah, and I feel like, or at least the beginning of concept. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. No, no, you're like, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, beginning like... of. All right. Well, this is what a crucible could be like. This is what a patrol can be like. This is what yeah. It, that that yeah, type like, of show theme. off the different scenarios where the people are actually going to play. Yeah. Um, in the case of Destiny, they Destiny, yeah. didn't do that at all, uh, and I feel like an open beta is something that is still working out bugs because yeah. they're still going to be there because not everybody's going to play the same exact way. Yeah. They didn't close the open, um, but it is kind of a stress test if it is like an open world game. But the way that another thing that Destiny I think failed at is you can't really stress test if you don't have people in the same area yeah. in the same zone. Like you're just seeing like you're getting people on like different servers. Like I imagine yeah. they're different servers for them. So yeah, it's and you're getting probably, people yeah. in different areas instead of trying to like locate everybody in one spot. Yeah, and then be like, all right, well, <clears throat> our servers can handle this load. Let's see what we can do with what more. You know, yeah. like. Yeah, it's... And I, like, I feel like Destiny didn't stress test. I don't think that they did that enough. That's a good point, beta. just because, yeah, they, I mean, they didn't have the areas to yeah. stress test. Yeah. They had... They didn't have the areas I wanted to stress test. I guess they have testing for how many different possible servers for Crucible in a way yeah. of stress testing. Yeah, yeah. So they did... They had that option, but... Not a full on stress test for yeah. what the entire game is yeah, supposed I, to be. I guess, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. And like it, for me, and op like I said, open beta is to showcase your game. Like you're trying to get as many people hooked in and trying to get as many people to like, be like, all right, I'm sold. I'll yeah. buy this game. Because it comes down to paid betas. You have to pay to get yeah. in. Yeah. But like, like that, I think, sucks for, for the beta phase um to, to have to buy the game and then then you get then the decide beta. if you want to if you want to buy it like actually play it once yeah. you play the beta because you're like oh the game looks cool but i want to try it first and that's what betas are for yeah betas are to try the game to see if you like it and if you have to buy to get in and it paid beta and then you don't like the game then you then can... it's like well that sucked you have it uh you might as well just keep playing it yeah like <laughs> and then it, it's i don't know that Paid betas are a weird yeah. thing. That Do you think Destiny was a paid beta? The closed part, yeah. Yeah. 
because you had to pre-order whether like, it was online do or... you think that it was a paid beta enough that the people that bought the game beforehand or pre-ordered the game might be got more out of it than people that just played the like the, the open. open friday saturday sunday if they are it's it's hit and miss yeah. with a lot of people because if if they are such huge fans of Crucible, or if they're looking forward to the new competitive game sets like the possible, four v four instead of the the five v yeah. five, yeah, yeah, the four v four and the like the countdown, like because that that one is a lot harder. That one was a lot harder. Like you have to the people played a lot more teamwork and professional in that one than the standard Crucible. Yeah, um, people who are excited about that type of content, getting it for like almost a full week or at least half a week or something mm -hmm. I think got a bit more but not an... not enough to call it a paid beta yeah not enough to call it a paid beta just That's because good. I'm pretty sure it was like you didn't have to buy the full game you could have just pre-ordered which is how most yeah. paid betas work anyways but I, th I think it was worth it enough for the pre-order like that made them worth like yes I will finish paying it off or whatever like, yeah and then it could see that that would, could be a two. Yeah. Like they could play the game and be like, "I love it. I'll go finish buying it, and I'll actually play it and buy it, yeah. buy it and play it." Um, so, okay, what? I guess we kind of touched on it, but like, what amount of content do you expect in a beta? We we kind of touched on it. Like, you want the base part of each kind of section of yeah, each kind of like game. area, I guess. But that's. That's, that's also pretty unrealistic. Yeah, I'll be, I'll that be can honest. also be a lot I'll be honest. for that's, a beta, especially for like a game like Destiny, where there's what four or five planets. Yeah, four I don't, right I, now. I don't expect then... to go to every planet yeah. and look around, but I did expect to be able to do a patrol mission and be able to walk around the one mission that you could do. Yeah. Um. So wait, so what was your question again? Like what? How Sorry, much? Fucking space. No, was like, fine. Went like, on my little rant there. How much should a beta have in it? Oh, that's right. That's right. Um. So, obviously, it should have, like, the first mission. I think it should have maybe two, uh, but depending on where the story goes... Yeah, it depends on where the story I goes. I understand then. only having the one mission. Um, I think in the, if it's a multiplayer game, they should have multiple maps yeah. and multiple gameplay modes that you can bounce around to so you can get a feel for all of them. Yeah, whether it's just two gameplay modes yeah. or whatever. Give, but... give me... Give me uh, um, What's the thing where you just kill everybody? Like, you have teams and you just kill everybody. What's Crucible, deathmatch, death match. whatever. So, yeah. okay, give me a team deathmatch, because that's standard, standard in yeah. every fucking multiplayer shooter game or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then give me, like, the countdown. Yeah. I get that. Countdown and then um, control for the new map. Yeah. That makes sense. But, like, l like limiting it to one play type and one map, I think, really hurts a beta, in my opinion. Yeah. No, it's... I, I, I just little, I feel like makes it a little monotonous really fast because yeah, when yeah, the game yeah, yeah. comes out that's going to be the map that either people felt they learned it so well that they can do really well on it or people don't want to play because they I, played it so much I already can skip it yeah. like if, if there's a map vote I'm going to try to not vote for that one because I've played enough I've, of it yeah it just got so repetitive and I was like I get it yeah yeah I, I see what we're doing here I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna steal this point. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> steal this point. There's another point in the middle. Yeah. Okay. I get what we're doing here. Yeah. Um. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's betas are hit and miss because I believe it should be more on the testing side, but there is a lot of marketing stuff when it hits open. Yeah. Like, that is, that is selling people while getting the stress test. The one thing, like, one thing I really think. And then that's probably why they did at least the hour for the farm, but I think they really need the, to stress test the hub city and whatnot for Destiny. Yeah, just because that's where everybody's going to load into. Everybody loads into and everybody fucks around in that area. Yeah. Like, I don't know how, how many times I climbed up on stuff just was, to get was, on top of I was just going to say, how, how much time did we spend trying to climb that stupid fucking tree? Do you, not even the tree, like... To get on top of the... Um, yeah, or to find, like, new weird jumping spots. Yeah. like Just to get on top of the... Um, that little... net, Not netting, but that canopy. Like, where yeah, we had to run yeah. across the metal rails. Me and my roommate, I think... 
night after night for a while spent like hours and hours after we did a bunch of missions we'd go to the tower we'd be like all right we're just gonna pick up a couple things and then for hours we'd be jumping on the boxes just yeah. to get onto that to see if we could make it over until we finally did it and like how many hours have we wasted on this probably like two 12 or <laughs> two or three today 12 this week no. <laughs> so this, standard like, that those that's the type of area you really need to test like you really need to see yeah. what people are gonna do in there so I, I feel i feel like for what i expected the beta to be for destiny it fell flat yeah what am i deterred from buying the game no not at all no but i i just don't know yeah and i think half of this is because again i'm gonna say it again i think I think we were so spoiled with the first one just because and there's a lot. Gamers are babies. Yeah, we're baby. We're babies. I can, I can admit that. I'm just yeah. I'm being a baby about it. I wish there was more and there wasn't, and yeah. I'm a baby. But I can also understand why they did that much because Destiny was the fresh start for Bungie. Yeah. Like they're like, all right, well, we got to get people so buying like, this game. So. Look, we can still make games after Halo. We're not just <laughs> Halo. Yeah. So and I get that, and this is more of a here's right. here's. Here's here's what we a have. here's this a is, taste. Yeah, the, here's here's a little salt on your steak. You know, <laughs> um, so I mean, yeah, it's I'm on both sides of it. Was it a beta that I felt like is gonna sell the game? No. Was it a beta for con- like new like for um, continuing players to give a taste and be like, all right, I'm ready. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I don't know. It's hit and miss. I think we're both on the page of it could have been a better beta. They could have added, like, a thing here and there. Yeah, and it's just... But... The, it's just, yeah. like, I go back to think about, like, all the betas that I've played, and I'm, I've i never been really, like, let down before. Yeah. I mean, even in this one, I wasn't let down. Like, I... I it didn't live up to my expectations, but... Yeah, it, it that didn't happens. let me down. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, com- comparing it to other betas and betas that I've played and like ones that yeah. I felt I felt satisfied at the end and this one where I was kind of like all right fine all right the beta I would compare it to that's most recent in my head sadly is the uh division beta I think I felt a little more satisfied for the beta okay. of that for sure I because did. I did get to explore a yeah. little bit and it did go to the first strike mission and whatnot yeah. essentially for the division that was satisfying like i got to play up for like the beginning of the story the beginning of all right well this is what got fucked up this is this is what's going on this is what i'm doing this is and who i am i do get a chance to look around yeah and okay i think that that was, that was probably the biggest miss for me with destiny is i didn't feel like i got the chance to look around really experience the destruction and experience what exactly is going on in the world. Yeah. I felt like they gave me that little taste and then it was like, all right, here's PvP. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't any like, this is what Gary has done to the world that you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I could dig it. Can you come up with a beta or are you still kind of... No, I mean... Not one that really stands out. Not one that stands out that I'm like, this was the best beta that I ever played. <laughs> Were you disappointed that you can do character customization? Customization. Yes, yeah. yes that was one thing that bothered me. Yeah. Because there was nothing I could do. It was like, pick your class, and then it was like, in the game. It yeah. Was like, yeah, I was a little sad at that. <sighs> what if I didn't want to play a female warlock? Yeah. Had to be a female warlock. <laughs> um, one am other I, am thing. I, real quick, am I going to yeah. play a female warlock? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. didn't give me the option. <laughs> <laughs> and was I awoken? Was I... Machine oh. guy? Was I human? Human? I, Are they adding someone else? I don't, I don't know. know. Can, can can I be the forearm guy? Can, can I be oh. the fallen? Goro? Yeah, you can play Goro. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, you <laughs> shoot four Nova bombs yeah. instead of one. Well, there's the one that we're right, like split. Yeah, just whatever. Yeah. You get an extra one, okay? Yeah. Because you play that race, then I would play that race, <laughs> and um, I would fucking Nova bomb everybody. <laughs> like, why don't you use the swords? <laughs> Because this. <laughs> but you get two swords. Oh. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> um, with the one thing they talked about, like you're not bringing your full character over 
into Destiny 2. You will get to bring the look of your character, like the facial features and whatnot. One thing I was thinking about is with the, since it's a rebirth of the Destiny world, pretty much, in a way. Yeah. With the starting story mission, when you bring your character over, are you going to be able to bring over the looks of your armor and gear until you get through the first mission and then you have to recollect stuff? I would assume. You would assume. So you would you would like that to happen, but what if you can't? Like, what if it automatically... If it's like generic with, gold yeah, the person generic that we armor. got to play with, I'd probably be pretty upset. Yeah. Like, and, and, like, it's not even the fact that... I know I don't get to keep that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you don't get to keep lose that it. gear and whatnot. But, I mean, it's just the fact that... You built your it's character my to character. that way. It's my character in the world that Gary's destroying. Yeah. And, like, that's the feel that I want. Yeah. I don't want it to be like bring my character over and then it's just generic asshole yeah and then in the end it's like oh well i guess it's kind of my character but it wasn't me yeah um yeah i i was thinking about that i just i, I think it was before the beta came out i was like man that would that would be kind of upsetting if i don't get to have the look my character i had like i didn't yeah. have a really distinct look or anything or a super cool look oh no that was character customization destiny yeah. one wasn't exactly yeah it wasn't huge <laughs> Like, but that was my look. Like, that's yeah. what my character that's, was. The character that I made. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting to see when the game comes out if, if it has that, that at least that port option. Yeah. That then again, cool. yeah. I don't know. Like, if it doesn't, I may just like delete the initial character and then restart. Because I mean, I almost don't want to play that character then. Yeah. No. But I sense. also do. Like, it's. I'm you, want, you, want, you want to continue your Guardian story, but you don't want it to be, like, yeah. I generically know, done. Yeah, I, I know I'm going to lose the stuff. Yeah. But I want to lose it fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know I, I wanna lose. Go, I want to go down swinging. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that makes sense. I get that. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll be running with the thorn to my head. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I still got my gun. <laughs> I remember so, what guns I was using. I don't, I, like, I don't averagely use the thorn, but I had it. I yeah, would like too. to go down with it. I'll, I'll equip it just to be like, <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to. Oh, I lost it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That was just a side thought I had. Yeah, no, I, I hope that. Big I guess. hope that we get to finish our Destiny story, or our Guardian story. Yeah. I hope that we load in as the same person, and then you fight with the stuff that you had ending, like, the last load last save character you had yeah you load in with that character and then you go down in that fight and you lose all that stuff but you get to start out you get the feeling that you're continuing your story yeah yeah i hope so yeah i really i really like that people running in with galahorn and they lose it oh i would love that (laughs) scumbags yeah i don't really have anything else on that um so anything you beta, want to add to what you think a beta should be, or betas aren't? Get it? Beta, I think we brought this up in episodes and episodes ago, but betas aren't what they should be. Like they are yeah. more on the marketing side now than. Yeah, because I remember playing like, oh, here we go. My favorite beta, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Mm. That beta, like I, I already, I had pre-ordered. And paid off the Super Ultimate Mega Edition because I was like, I'm gonna play this game forever, and I really wish I still played it. Yeah, but I'm weird with MMOs. I want to play with my friends and start a guild with my no, friends. No, that I totally understand that. And like, like, and I like nobody like I there was only two of us that were playing that game mm-hmm. like till the end game, and I was like, well, I guess we'll go play something else. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, totally but yeah, I, I I played that beta and I was like, yep. I know what I'm doing. I'm go. ready to fucking go. And then two months later, game came out, and I fucking played Blue. shit out of it. <laughs> I probably put more hours into that game than any other MMO I've ever played. Yeah. So, I mean, that beta, I left feeling like... Satisfied. It like gave you... me everything that I expected, it, everything that I wanted it to do, and more. Like, yeah. I, I, felt, I felt like I didn't finish the beta. Like, I felt like there was way more that I could have done... That I didn't get to do. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. Thought yeah. That, that clicked when you said that. And I was yeah. like, fuck, yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Uh, I definitely, I, I, I don't think betas are what they need to be anymore. 
Yeah, like it's too much. Like you said, it's too much about marketing. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to show off and sell a game, not like not, not test, not, not test t- the game. As much. To, not test the game and like give the old players the feel that they care. I guess I don't know. Like the that's, old, that's not like the, the old real feeling, word I want to use, the, but it's just the word that came. The reconnection to yeah. the game, yeah, yeah, for old players and the new interest into yeah, the game yeah. at least i i think i we're still stuck on the best destiny, destiny beta oh well, yeah the, the best new data that's that's just the one that we played most recently so yeah. that's kind of just what we're playing off of so but yeah I, other betas probably have more influential influence in bringing new players in and yeah. some old feelings but the i don't feel oh man whoa no finish finish your thought i, I don't think destiny 2 beta it has nothing to, yeah my it thing has nothing to do with anything okay i'm, I'm done okay um a game that we should do, since now you have a computer. Okay. So you should look into an MMO called Pantheon. Pantheon. I saw you post something on it the other day. I didn't yeah. read. I feel like it's going to bring back an old school feel to an MMO. Hmm? And I feel like I'm really going to want to play it a lot. So I need there... people to play with. I'll play it. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 been... I, I don't want to be hardcore into it. Yeah. Because I'm not... That kind of person because I don't like the amount of time. You I don't like locking myself down to like an MMO and just playing yeah. that one thing forever. So, so yeah. no, I get that. Um, if, I mean, like, we could still play PlayStation while we play that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll like well, that's be what I mean. I can just like, like bounce back and forth. Yeah, like, that's what I'm about. Um, I'd play just that. Casually. I could, I have been thinking about like going back to World of Warcraft, and I'm like, I don't think that'd be worth the money because I don't. Yeah. I don't put it. I wouldn't be able to put enough time. So that, that, that's why I'm playing free to play ones right now. Like I, I dabble in Terra. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Pantheon. Just something to think about. Okay. Well, we'll look at it. I think we're good to wrap this one up. Yeah. All right. It's been episode 53. 53. <laughs> we, yes. We do 53. need those notes now. How do you know? Yeah, 53. Uh, so, if you guys if you, like this episode, yeah. Um, yeah. we can always, if you guys send topics, we, we're, we this is a free, free subject, free talk about whatever you want. Yeah. So. We'll you take let us suggestions know. and we'll see what we talk about. Yeah, let us know what you want to hear and yeah. we'll want to hear our opinions on. Yeah, we're always listening. Um, I feel like we kind of changed our Wednesday show based on what people were kind of like feedbacking us back. Like, yeah, behind That's... the scenes, I guess no one actually like came up forward and said anything. But I yeah. feel like we moved this direction because we felt like it was the best direction to move it to. Yeah. So, so. we want your guys to help. Let us know what you want to hear about, and we'll shoot you the shit we'll shoot the shit with you shoot the shit so if you've enjoyed this episode and you have any questions comments concerns you can get a hold of us at general at gmail.com yes no no yeah general at gmail.com sorry you look like you something to say that's why no, I stopped okay. I was just making You're movements just, okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> movements. We, have, we have a Facebook it's general Nerdcast, uh, Twitter at general Nerdcast. you can follow us on there and we'll give you guys updates as often as we can to help you guys understand where we're going the direction we're moving yeah and we have a patreon page if you want to help us grow the show do more of these episodes we can change formats we can do more um do weird episodes we can just do like we can do like let's plays and stuff later on yeah but you know we need your help yeah and we need to get better equipment first so yeah. that's what we're kind of going for now so Looking if you would stuff. like to help us out there patreon.com slash general yeah um can did you say things. Twitter? Yeah, I did the things. Okay. Okay, I did the you things. can uh, watch, subscribe, comment on YouTube, oh, and sick. either watch us talk silly and interact in whatever Ooh. we do, um, enjoy listening, or just have us as background noise. We appreciate uh, all that you guys listen to, and yep. we enjoy doing this. Yes. So, um, blah, 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 blah. If you guys are listening to us in the morning... Oh, yeah. We didn't do this in this last episode, so yeah. just... Think of this as doubling down. Double down. <laughs> Eat double the breakfast. Eat double the breakfast. Have breakfast double the and good brunch. day. They have a super good, awesome day. Many pancakes. Finger bang. L- listening to us in the afternoon. <laughs> Tyler's drunk. I, I can't talk. So. <laughs> he just got really drunk really fast. <laughs> Eat all you can and just have good meals. Lose this in the evening. Don't do all your dinner, do all you dessert. Mm-hmm. Sweet treats. And sweet voices. Gummy worms. Ooh. Mm. Man. I'm going to go to frozen yogurt now. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, froyo. Froyo. Fr- Sorry. Frizoyo. Frizo. Ooh. <laughs>
Frazoyo. I like that. If you're listening to us right before you go to bed, hope we fill your sweet dreams with sweet voices and sweetness, and you have great lightsaber battles. Lightsaber battle dreams. Yes. And hope you win. Smooches.